Do you have what it takes? Battle of the Halls. April 25th. From 1 to 4 p.m. at the Beer Barn Fields. Events include... Capture the flag. Relay race. Bat on the head. Intense puzzle. Guess the jelly beans. Three-legged sack race. Water balloon toss. Tug of war. Hula hoop contest. Pie eating contest. Trivia contest. Human knot. Egg race. Sack race. And a ball pit. Do you have what it takes? Sign up today at the Traditions Front Desk. Remember, it's Saturday, April 25th from 1 to 4 p.m. at the Beer Barn Fields. Make sure to wear your maroon shirt or an SF t-shirt. Bye! It's Sunday, April 19th, and it's time for This Week at SFT. This week's guest, Student Body President Cam Willard. And here's your host, Greg Scamato. Tuesday, putt-putt starting in the Santa Fe lobby from 5 to 10 p.m. Also Tuesday, softball versus McConnell at 6.30 at the Peterbilt Fields. Earthfest, Wednesday at 4 p.m. in the Onsted Promenade. Softball versus Legends, Thursday at 6.30 p.m. at the Beer Barn Fields. Just a reminder to be proactive about moving your things and cleaning your room so you don't have to be stuck with all that work during finals week. Well, I am underdressed. <laughs> uh, I'm here today with Cam Willard, our student body president. So Cam, who are you and what do you do? Uh, my name is Cam Willard. I am a senior here at the University of North Texas in my fourth year, and I am the president of the Student Government Association, student body president. So what's the function of SGA? Uh, SGA is uh, the student government to the, to the institution. Um, it, is, it is law that every higher education institution, um, every public institution needs to have a student government. And so SGA is here to benefit students. It is the organization that students can get involved in, involved in and represent the, the student constituency um, represented by college. We'll get into that later, right, Greg? Sure, yeah. Um, it is sort of the liaison, the, uh, the liaison position for students and administration. Administration comes to SGA whenever they need student representation or student input or um, just anything they need help with student-related-wise. Cool. And uh, what do you think the makeup of our student government is? Like, who are the people that represent us? <clears throat> so, um, recently, before this administration came in, the format for SGA was a student senate, a judiciary, um, election board uh, for whenever elections come up, and freshman interns in the executive branch. The student senate is the main component, which is the legislative body of the Student Government Association. And the senators are made up of the population of colleges and academic departments. So the population is proportioned off by however many students make up different colleges. So College of Arts and Sciences is a fairly large college. They have roughly 14 seats within senate. Uh, and it's pretty pretty much divvied up amongst that, amongst all the rest of the colleges. So it's... You would say it's pretty, then it would be equally represented, right? Because it's proportional. Um, yeah, it's equally represented, so it's proportional. So, with okay, so the it's large, like freshmen, seniors, like everything right, in between. Everything, every everything in between, right. Everything awesome. in between. Um, the, if the majority of the students, if the majority of the population of students are in the College of Arts and Sciences, of course they naturally get um, more representatives within student government, just like we have more senators. Well, everything's equal in senators, but we have more House representatives within uh, government as a state of Texas because we're much larger of a state. So you can think of it in that Type of comparison. Okay, cool. And um, elections are going on right now as we're filming this. Right now, as we speak. But while you guys are watching this, they're long gone. We already know right. who's going to be in holding office. But mm -hmm. if anyone watching this wants to get involved in the future, what are ways for them to get involved? What you should do is, since most, since they'll already be in college, the best way to get involved with SGA is through the legislative route. You would want to go through Senate, which means you would have to become part of the election. You'd have to get on the election ballot, and you would run, and you would get your constituents to vote vote for you that are in your college, and you would become a senator. Or um, with this administration, we are we have now allowed and implemented um, a House of Representatives to be a part of the legislative body. So the House of Representatives is based on student organizations. 
So um, we have the academic side and academia is represented and now we have the House of Representatives, which is student organization based. So if you have student organizations that you are a part of, you can talk to your president to be in SGA as an official representation of that subgroup of organizations. So if you're an athletic group, if you're a part of an athletic student organization, you would want to represent all athletic clubs, if that kind of makes sense. Yeah, and uh, so what would... This is off book. I, I gave Melissa questions. This, is, this one's not on it. It shouldn't okay. be too bad, though. What would make someone want to get involved in SGA? Do What do they want to see from their school? SGA, um, SGA can really groom leaders. We have a freshman intern program for that. For students that graduate high school and come into, come into college, they were a part of student. They may have been a part of student council within high school, and they really liked that they were um, that they had leadership roles and they were really counted on and they had a lot of accountability from um, people that they kind of looked up to or mentors or teachers or things of that nature. We keep that going and it's the same exact mentality within college. What we kind of want to make you be a part of SGA is more sense of responsibility or just more sense of leadership. You want to strive to do more. Um, you want to represent people more. You want to advocate for things more. If there's things that you do not like on the campus that you really want to change, if you really want to get into communications with more uh, administration and what is actually going on with UNT or um, how you can really much, pretty much better your education to a certain standpoint, all of those things can start here in SGA. Um, what, what else, what other things that uh, people like to do um, as far as being in SGA are just a lot of perks and opportunities that they get. Um, last night I had the opportunity to uh, moderate a question and answer portion with Laverne Cox when she came and spoke on behalf of the Fine Arts Series. Um, I was able to sit and talk to her in front of about 3,000 people. And one student came up to me afterwards and asked, you know, how did you get to do that? And I was like, well, actually, I'm student body president. So I sit on the committee and Fine Arts Series wanted me to moderate it. So those are some of the opportunities that SGA has at hand for the people a part of the association. Awesome. And uh, if you could leave our residents and our viewers here with one last thing as they close out their freshman year, what would that one thing be? Okay, so you've completed your freshman year. Um, the biggest thing for me was my freshman year, I didn't really get involved. Um, I felt like I stayed in victory and it kind of tore me away from the campus a little bit. It was a little hard to get involved whenever your dorm is so far away and you're not really in the campus climate, you're not really in the campus atmosphere and environment. So with saying that, I, I'm really preaching that getting involved is a, is, a, is a huge part and pivotal, vital component of your entire college career. Um, getting involved kind of enhances your mindset and enhances your college experience altogether. So after you've got your whole entire freshman year under your belt, you have this kind of focus to better your education. And not only that, but you have an understanding of how college kind of goes. Your sophomore year is where it really gets down to the nitty gritty. You need to make sure that um, whatever college department that you're in, you're really excelling in, that, in your academia, getting good grades, but also you need something that's going to complement your degree when you do get out. You don't want to just go to class each and every day. Not saying that nothing's wrong with that. Being a student is the first most important thing while you're here. That's the reason why you're here. But you need to get involved with other things that kind of give you a different outlook on life and just add to your insight as a college student. So the one thing I would give to you is to find things that you kind of really want to give your time to, devote your time to, dedicate to, dedicate yourself to, and enhance your perspective. Sharpen your intellect in a certain in a certain sense. But that's exactly what I would do. Go out there and see what UNT really has to offer. Awesome. Well, thank you for being here. I hope you guys got something out of it. I appreciate your time, Cam. Appreciate it, Greg.